good afternoon everyone. Hello, today I present to you an extremely attractive application for music lovers, it's completely free, you can listen to music online or download unlimited music to use whenever you don't have internet, the powerful search function helps you find anything you want, trust me. It's hard not to find what you're looking for because the search function is really powerful. Application download link is attached in the description of the video, I'm pretty sure you'll like it, thanks. I'm Assistant Chief Judith Harrison the commanding officer of Patrol Borough Brooklyn North. I'm being joined today by Deputy Chief John Shell, commanding officer of Brooklyn North Detectives, and also being joined by Deputy Inspector Rohan Griffith, the commanding officer of the 75 Precinct. So the information that I'm about to provide to you is very preliminary and subject to change as the investigation is active and ongoing. Earlier today at 12.33 a.m., our patrol units responded to numerous 911 calls and a shot spotter activation for people shot at 101 Workman Avenue in the confines of the 75 precinct. Preliminary investigation revealed that there was a verbal dispute inside 101 Workman Avenue when an unknown male brandished a firearm and began shooting. He shot two people inside that location. Also shot at the corner of Georgia Avenue and Workman Avenue was um, three males who were sitting inside of a gray infinity sedan. All five of the victims were taken to area hospitals. Two of the five victims were pronounced deceased. The other three victims are currently being treated for their in injuries. There are no arrests at this time as the investigation is ongoing. I am urging anyone with any information regarding this shooting to call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-577-TIPS. Please, we need your help. If you've seen something, if you know anything, please call. These calls are strictly confidential and the information can help us solve this crime. Right now, I'll turn things over to Chief Shell. Good afternoon. I'm Deputy Chief John Shell, commanding officer of Brooklyn North Detectives. This investigation is very early on, but this is what I can tell you. At approximately 12.30 this morning, at 101 Workman Street, we received numerous calls for shots fired and a male shot. This location is called the Brooklyn Garden, where there was a gathering of about 100, 150 people having a party. Okay. When the officers arrived, they encountered a male shot, uh, shot numerous times, 32 years old. While conducting an investigation into this male, they pointed at one block away to Georgia and Workman Avenue, where they encounter a gray vehicle which looks like it was involved in a motor vehicle accident. Inside that motor vehicle accident, there was three males shot. Two are DOA, one is fighting for his life. Male 32, male 36, male 51. Approximately two hours later, New Shell, our fifth and final victim, Male 37 shows up in hospital, self-driven, with one gunshot wound. Right now, we have numerous personnel working on this investigation just early on. We know, like I said earlier, there's about 100 to 150 people there. We know there's some videos out there. We know people saw what happened. Again, we are urging to call 1-800-577-TIPS. We have numerous detectives on standby from within Brooklyn North. 75 Precinct, Brooklyn North Homicide, and outside units within the Detective Bureau. So again, any help you can give us, we would greatly appreciate it. Um, was this, there were reports that this was a party where everyone was wearing white and that the guy who showed up in the Rochelle is connected to this because he was also wearing white. We're not sure what type of body is, and we're not sure what the role is. The gentleman that showed up in, in the Bronx, what his role is at this time. He was in the Bronx or in New Rochelle? New Rochelle, excuse me, correct. Um, but he was he was also at the scene, you believe? We believe he was at the scene, yes. Okay. And do you know the nature of the party? Was it a legal party or a legal or...? It just seemed like an, old, an older gathering of people having a good time on a, sum, on a summer night, a nice summer night. Any of these targets? Sorry, can you say it again? Were any of the victims, do you think, they were, they were targeted, they were random, uh, game-related, anything? 
Yeah, we're not sure yet. Like, we have a lot of work. We'll piece this together. We're going through numerous pieces of video. We're trying to track down numerous witnesses that we were able to get the information last night. So we're not ready to talk about that. Are you concerned about retribution? We're always considered that, but right now we're not, we're not sure what that is, what it is, if it's going to happen. Um, so um, just let me just get this straight. Two people were shot inside and then another three in the car. We have one shot inside. We got three in the car. And the last one, we're not sure if it was inside, outside, but we believe that person was down at that event. So six people, six victims? Five victims altogether. Are you sure both shootings were connected? At this time, it appears so. And the, I'm sorry, again, the two people in the car were killed or the person inside was killed? There was three male occupants of that gray vehicle, two are deal away, okay. one is fighting for his life. Okay. I'm what? sorry, who did you say drove himself to the hospital, one of the two people in the, in the venue? We'll refer to them as victim number five, who we believe is somewhere in that venue or in that area, and he drove himself to the hospital, correct? Have you had complaints about this? Good afternoon, everyone. Deputy Inspector Burke, 5th Command, Officer of the 75th Precinct. To answer your question, no, we have not had complaints about that particular location. It is a venue that we are aware of. However, no complaints. No 911 or 304 in regards. Can you see the little ladder cars, please? Sure. No complaints in regards to that particular location. It is a venue that we have been aware of. Um, we, we know about its existence. However, no 311 or 911 calls at that particular location. Is it new? I hear it used to be a... It is relatively new. Um, it is part of the investigation as to what is taking place there or, or on a particular weekend. However, it is relatively new. Yes. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.